All right, so I just want to go ahead and do a little video on my fire alarms. I had a couple questions. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple minutes to answer them. First things first, it's with these mechanical horns. How do you make them sound smooth and how do you change the pitch on them? Um, if your horn sounds really raspy, first thing I would suggest you do is these two screws that hold in the horn. Loosen them up a little bit. As you can tell, my wobbles around a little bit, but it's better than being cemented to the frame because that at that point, it's so tight on the horn that it's going to sound really bad. So loosen them up a little bit, um, and that should fix your problem. As far as the pitch goes, if you have it out on a back box, you could try tightening these mounting screws. You see those empty holes? And that could uh, raise your pitch to, or lower your pitch depending on the position of the screws. Or if you turn it over in the back. Of course my light turns on for some reason. But um, there's this tab right here. If you take a little screwdriver and pry it up and push it down, you'll be able to raise and lower the pitch. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions about your mechanical horns. Um, I'm not going to adjust it on this one because I like the way this one sounds and it works fine. Second thing I've had are these smart sync variants with the strobes. That are smart sync that they you know they flash every time the power is cut. I've had questions about is there a way to code it with the uh, 49059938 smart sync module? The answer is no. You can't code it. Here's why. Um, if you guys know how smart sync works, when power is applied to it, it's just going to charge up, and then as soon as power is cut, it'll flash. The way that module works is that it charges up, and then once a second, it will cut power for a split second, allowing the strobe to flash. That's how you get that 60 flashes a minute. It charges up and flashes. It does that once every single second. Now, because it's getting constant power charging the capacitor, the horn will be getting constant power. So therefore, if you're trying to code it, well, you're not going to be able to because it's only going to do continuous until the strobe flashes, then you're going to get a skipping sort of thing, and it's going to be a uh, Wheelock 7002T, so to speak, kind of thing. So if you want to um, code it, the cheapest way I would do it is to get a um, system sensor MDL module. It'll code all your horns to code 3. If you can't, do them. Um, through settings, obviously these 4903s are continuous only, but yeah, hopefully that answers you guys' questions. I will have more videos coming out very soon.